Hi, welcome to the Renaissance Festival. It's a wonderful day today. We have sword fighters, we have jousters, we have eagles, we have hawks, falcons, comedians, storytellers. It's a wonderful day out here. Every weekend of November and the first weekend of December from 9.45 a.m. to 5 p.m. Come out and have a great time. We have merchants. We have shopping, lots and lots of holiday shopping. We have entertainment, educational things, many, many educational demonstrations from wood carving to candle making to weaving. We even have a live sheep and you can milk a goat if you like. We have all kinds of educational demonstrations. We have entertainment, lots of things to drink. We have tea tastings, wine tasting, whiskey tasting. You can, you can enjoy your time with the Queen. Queen Elizabeth will be here in first person and you can speak with her and learn what it's like to be a real queen. We have uh, plenty of peasants and merchants and of course a couple of village idiots. Feel free to join in. We have a lot of family shows here. Uh, there's all kinds of, we have juggling shows, we have magic shows, we have the jousting. I mean, who doesn't love to watch two men in steel crash together on horseback, right? So there's lots of excellent shows going on, puppet shows. There's, uh, there's just too many things to count that is very family oriented here, right? We like to generally come around and have a good time with folks, tease them a bit, you know. We're not, we're not serious about the pirating. We don't steal anything or anything like that and pillage and all that. But if someone gives us the opportunity, mind you, we'll take that. You have theme weekends, don't you? Yes, we do. This weekend is th uh, Mask Weekend. Next weekend will be Pirate Weekend, which is probably their most popular weekend because everyone loves a pirate, especially ever since Pirates of the Caribbean came out, right? Everybody loves pirates. Uh, then we have a Celtic weekend, and I'm kind of lost after that. But uh, I know those three for certain, right? right? Mask weekend, Pirate weekend next, then Celtic weekend. So come out, put your kilt on, put your Celtic on, you know, be Scotch, be Irish, whatever you like to please. Come out and do it. It's all for good fun. Will they be able to see you? Oh, ma'am, I'm here every weekend, yes. Yes, in one way or the other. I may even put a kilt on for Celtic weekend. You never know. Can I join you, love? <laughs> oh, no, we don't want to say angry I, I, I have one exception to what the good captain said. He said we wouldn't cause trouble for an eon. <laughs> but wait, as a Scotsman, I have, to, I have to say that doesn't include the dirty English. You know, uh, we're going to... Uh, we insult them. It was them. a long time we ago, insult them. It was a long time ago. Get ah, yeah, over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we always looking for a good Donny Brook. It's an event for everyone. For my wee ones started coming when he was four and she was eight, and they've grown up here. In fact, they everyone knows them. I can let them run wild because everyone knows them and takes care of them. And... Um, I was quite a young man when I first started here, you know. Uh, now they still tell me I'm quite fetching, but... Um, oh, silly. They're lying to you. I, I, well, of course they are. <laughs> uh, but um, there's, there's bunny lasses of all ages. There are wee ones all the way to old even, ones. Even old ones age. like us! <laughs> <laughs>
love the food here, the vendors, they're great. And of course, all the different things, everybody really gets in the character and just watching them play with the, the jousting and everything, it's, it's fantastic. The whole thing's wonderful. What's your favorite show? Uh, probably the winches that usually go out in the corner. A little bit more uh, leaning towards the adults, but it's wonderful. Is this a family event? Oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I've seen kids everywhere. We always bring our, our family, young kids, family. Uh, well, since I was old enough, we come here every year, at least once, if not more. It's part of history. It's part of our history. It's art, and it's an absolute blast, whether you're into it or not. You don't even have to dress up. Just come out here and have a blast. But I suggest dressing up because it makes you part of it. it. makes you feel like you're good. Rena, tell us what is your favorite part of coming to the festival? The atmosphere. Definitely the atmosphere. I love being tossed back in time. Yeah. How long have you been coming? Oh, I'm going to give away my age here. Probably a lot longer than it's been at this location. <laughs> Probably about 15, 20 years. Rena, tell us a little bit. You bring your family. Um, tell us about this being a family event. Oh, this is the most incredible place. Not only is it good for history, um, for my younger son, and even for my oldest when he was younger, um, as a lot of history, it's just a lot of fun. It's good, clean fun. It's safe. We have such a good time here, and everyone is so personable here, I, even the, the people that visit here. It's just a great time. I'm having a blast, yeah. <laughs> we'll be here, let's see, I think the fest runs six weeks, right? And we'll be here at least four of those six weeks. We come as often as possible. Uh, we come from Bell Chase and St. Rose. Mm -hmm. Is it affordable for families? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Where else are you going to go and have so much fun for such a low price? You can't beat this. You can't beat it. What would you tell uh, families that have never been here before? Why, w why should they come? Why wouldn't you? You're missing out. This is an experience. Like Mardi Gras, this is something you have to see to believe. Let's see what we're doing out here today. Well, we're at the Louisiana Renaissance Fair, and at my particular game, we are throwing hammers, guys. That's right, it's $3 for three shots, and if only that worked at the pubs, guys. You do not want to catch the third one. Let's see. And it should look something like this one. Let's see what happens here. I guess I'll be aiming a little low right now. There's one little high. Let's see, there's two. All right, right about there, and ready. Excellent, all right. Even if it ain't dead, it wishes it was, all right? That's why I was just building the suspense on the first two. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. I believe this is actually my ninth season here. I was actually just doing the uh, math this morning. It's either ninth or tenth for me, and I do five Renaissance fairs a year. Tell us a little bit about the culture here in the Renaissance Fair. Sure, let's see. Uh, there's a lot of families out here. Uh, there's a lot of us that make it our livelihood. There's also a lot of folks that just come out for a year or two just to see the travel and uh, uh, have a good time. Uh, myself, I thought I was going to come out for a year and I've been here for almost 10 now. Let's see, I would say it's certainly a family environment. Uh, one of the nice things about out here is that we do get a chance to get a little bit bawdier than say Disneyland or that sort of thing. But uh, we, like to, we like to keep it clean and all inclusive. Really depends on who we're talking to. And uh, as far as why people should come out here, I really think there's a lot of things you can only get out here at the Renaissance Fair. There's no other place I can think of with a hammer thrower or an axe throw game, stuff like that. Let alone the human powered rides, which is actually where I started when I was traveling. Yeah. If you Craig, how long have you been coming to the festival? First time I came was probably 20 years ago, when it was just, I think it was a year or two old. Has it grown? Uh, yeah, it's always fun to come and see what's changed every year. Why do you keep coming? What, what, what is your favorite part of the festival? Oh, uh, what is the favorite part? Um, you know, I just feel, I don't know, I feel like the, uh, there's a bunch of other weirdos just like me that come here, you know? I don't know, I feel at home. What would you say to any families or people that have never been here before? Why should they come? Uh, why should they come? It's, it's just good, clean fun. You know, uh, I can't recall ever seeing anything bad happen here. Or, uh, it's, just, it's just fun. And it's, you know, probably for the, maybe a, a movie and a popcorn, you basically you got a full day's entertainment. Yeah, right. Well, yeah, into the night. Yep. Did you see the jousting? I did, yeah. What do you think about the jousting? Tell us about that. Uh, everyone's a little different um, because it's it's kind of sort of planned, but there's things that happen. I mean, it's 
horses and guys with 10 foot long uh, what is jousting sticks and yeah. We having a family event with the Renaissance Festival. Horses! Bringing the grandkids. Horses. What, what's y'all's favorite part? Horses! The horses! <laughs> These are the first time that I bring my grandkids but I've been to twice in Texas. Is this a family event? Yes it is. Just spending time with the grandkids. Would you recommend this for other families? Oh yes. Oh yeah. This is the best place ever. <laughs> She's been excited about the dress because she's like wants to be like a model. She just enjoying. He likes the swords and the the, the, the men. All the families that's looking for some to come to do. This is something nice to do with the family. Are you having a good time? Tell us about what's your favorite part of being here. Um, well, I'm definitely having such a good time today, and my favorite part of being here is just really being with the people, being with my friends, the atmosphere, ultimately the costumes, the the theme of it all, the fact that it's medieval times, renaissance, I just love the hats and the dresses and everything like that, and the accents even, I, I just love the whole aspect of it really. Have you been able to do any shopping? Tell us about the, the vendor booth. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, I actually, I've been trying on some things. I haven't really decided yet because there's so many different choices. So the vendor booths are really cool. I mean, I tried on a princess hat and I felt really beautiful. You know, I felt like a princess of that time, like Rapunzel or somebody. Um, and um, we looked at, I looked at some wands and stuff like that. I asked the lady if they've been known to work, but she said it's $50 extra for magic. So. Hey, they are, look, they're all pretty they're all pretty lit, so to speak. I like them. I like what I'm seeing here today. Um, have you been able to see any shows? And if so, what's your favorite? Yeah, uh, I've only seen one show so far today, and it was like a, a sword throwing show where you know how you throw the swords at the person standing against the wall. Yeah, it was that kind of show. It was really cool. It was really fun. And I also spoke to William Shakespeare for a hot second. That was very, that was cool. That, you know, I never thought that I would meet William Shakespeare, but yeah, he talked about the experience of writing Romeo and Juliet, and he claimed that he was probably drunk when he did that. So, that yeah, was interesting. What is your favorite part about coming to the festival? I think my favorite part is being able to come here and just dress up and just be whoever you want to be. Do you have to dress up? You don't have to dress up, no, no, no. Um, but it's a chance for those of us who like to, <laughs> to be able to do that. Did you catch any of the shows? What was your favorite show? Um, we watched the uh, the jousting. Um, the falconry is probably my favorite show because I love birds. So, uh, and the Queen's Parade's pretty cool too. <laughs> you really should come out here. It's, it's, a, it's a very interesting experience. It's a very different experience from anything you've been to before. Uh, the shows, the craftsmen, if you like craftsmade uh, items, craftsmen made items. Uh, we have excellent food and drink, lots of crafts beers, uh, different ales and things like that, if that's what you'd like to see. Uh, the shows, the people, the costumes, everything is so much different from any other festival you've ever been to before. You've got to see this. You've got to experience it yourself.